The member for Durack. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. Will the Minister update the House on how the government's national energy guarantee will support hardworking Australians and businesses and drive investment and jobs growth in the economy? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches? The Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. I thank the member for Durack for her question, and I know she works hard each and every day to deliver for those members in her community. She knows that you've got to get the policy settings right. You need to make sure that you drive investment in your community in order to deliver a strong economy, and that is exactly what we are doing on this side of the House. That's why we had good news last week that saw the coalition government being able to deliver more than 371,000 new jobs in the last 12 months alone. But we know that there are threats to this. If we are not able to have affordable and reliable energy, we will not be able to continue to deliver the jobs that we need in Australia. That is why, on this side of the House, we are delivering the national energy guarantee that will fix that will fix the broken energy policy that has existed in this parliament and in this the economy for, for too interjecting. long. It will guarantee reliable energy by delivering the right level of dispatchable baseload energy at the appropriate points in time. And as a result, Australian businesses will be able to have confidence that they can keep the lights on, that they can continue to employ, that they can continue to invest. It is important for both domestic and international investors to have confidence to be able to invest here in our economy and boost jobs. But she has asked are there any alternatives? And she is right, there are. The Labor Party over there has got an energy thought bubble, an energy thought bubble that comprises renewable energy targets that are reckless, and they combine that with billions of dollars in subsidies and taxes, which will mean higher taxes and less reliability for Australian families and Australian businesses. Labor wants Australian consumers to pay for their $66 billion subsidy. And while they are happy to slug Australians and Australian employers with higher energy prices, they have forgotten one of the core responsibilities of government is to deliver reliable and affordable energy, to keep the lights on and to keep the economy running. Labor have no plan, no plan whatsoever, to do anything on energy unless, of course, the wind is blowing, and the wind is certainly blowing over there, or unless the sun is shining. Members and they will cost Australian businesses and Australian jobs if they put in place their energy thought bubble. The national energy guarantee which we will deliver will deliver for all Australians.